Hello guys and welcome to another David Zamoleta. In today's video, I want to show you some more supplies that I have gotten to work on this Chrysler 300 project. So anyways, I went to Harbor Tool and Freight and picked up this compressor right here. Not sure if this is a good compressor or not, but it was a good price. But anyways, this is an oil-free compressor, which is nice. And it's also very quiet. Definitely easy to start it. Um, goes up to 175 PSI, 21-gallon tank, which I think would be perfect for doing a paint job. Um, I could actually show you how it runs. I have it connected right here. So... There's that. But anyways, I've gotten more supplies. So I got different type of... Uh, uh, sandpaper here, we got 40 grit, we got 60 grit, we got 220, and I uh, got an 80 grit uh, sandpaper right there. Got different type of uh, primer, got some sandable primer, got filler primer, I got rust performance primer, and then of course, uh, two bottles of this uh, plastic adhesive promoter, which is basically like fancy word for plastic primer, which will help paint. I got myself two brand new hoses, uh, even though I got plenty um, hoses uh, for my previous compressor. Anytime you want to paint the car and you've been using it for like your power to like air tools and you know, maybe something else like pumping up tires, you don't want that cross contamination uh, to happen because it's gonna have water or oil inside, what have you. But anyways, um, for the compressor, I picked up this, um, dryer system this removes all the oil and water from airlines which is good this is something i'm going to place in a gun oil and water separator so kind of important and i got some some stuff over here to basically uh attach all of that stuff which i will be doing shortly uh for this compressor here um also a while ago i picked up a gun so i picked up one of these um not sure if this is any good or not, uh, but along with that, I'm sure you've seen people use this before. I got this brand new, um, so this is going to be just, you know, for whatever. But then I got this bad boy right here. Um, this came from Harbor Tool and Freight. It is a professional HVLP spray gun, and I'm most excited about this one, especially that price that i paid for it which was 153 dollars and 99 cents um I, I believe they're at least double that in price maybe they don't even sell them anymore but this is what i got so black widow um this is a very cheap gun that they have uh and this one that i got and uh, you know i think this is mainly for spraying uh, mercedes sprinter vans they're kind of like large requires lots of paint and i think i got that for that reason i've opened up this box already but i just want to show you what's inside and this is for large areas so we got one hose right there we got another hose right here and then we got this gun here where's the can i don't see any can a while ago, I picked up the same uh, type of system, except it was missing the needle for the gun, but it did have a can, and I was hoping that this is gonna work with it. But this is the book for it. So this is the way it connects. You got the generator, you got a hose, you got all of those filters that's coming from the compressor, which is, this is a compressor hose with a shutoff valve. So basically that is that right there. Um, what is C? C filter okay um and what is he the regulator there it is regulator so i should have a regulator and everything else i have another set as well that i'll be attaching but anyways you, then you have this b hose which is air hose and b air hose and let's see uh so we got two hoses right here this one is thicker three eighths id rubber and this is a smaller one um but anyways there's this can 
So this is what I was talking to you guys about, that this is what I have gotten a while back. And I was hoping that instead of just purchasing the parts, you know, for the needle and stuff, I could just purchase this and then basically have two of the same guns. I need to compare the guns, see if they're the same, but it's missing some stuff. Um, I've gotten this on clearance. I don't even know what I paid for it, but this was a while ago that I've gotten it. So it did have like like this stuff in it, like for cleaning the gun. Then it had a hose, which is not very long. That other stuff uh, apparently is longer. The cool thing is I could use it to ex extend the hose um, if I want to. Um, and here's, here's that. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and package this back up how it's supposed to be for future use. Apparently, this is too small. Can't really fit anything in there. I'm not sure what it's really made for. That's tiny. Trying to install a pressure regulator with a shutoff valve, but that's not working too well. So I'm going to be actually installing this on it instead. So I'm just going to need to do this and just spin it, spin it on there. Before I do anything, I need to release the pressure. Now here are the differences, what was in there before. It looks like it's the same size. This is one quarter. That appears to be a lot smaller. I'm just surprised that's what, what came on it. Now I'm going to install this in here. So I gotta do that. What I should have done is just used an adjustable wrench. Would have made things a whole lot easier. Now the interesting thing is, now I do have this type of system right here and this technically should be enough. Uh, this is, you know, this is um, a filter, it removes water vapors and removes oil, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. But that's an air filter as well, so I figured do this and then install that other system to where it could be double filter, that way there's going to be like no water or oil for sure. Well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button for my effort. And I hope you guys subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.